In this video, I'm going to go over the most important application for fertilizer for the entire year, particularly for cool season grass, guys. I'm going to show you how to comparative shop, how to know, and this is a mistake that a lot of people make when buying fertilizer. They don't really understand what they're getting by what they're paying. So we're going to, I'm going to give you a quick, easy formula. You can even take to the store, do it on your phone, calculate it. You know you're getting the best price. Um, and we're also going to talk a little bit about warm season grasses very briefly, about what you should be doing before dormancy or before you put it to bed for the winter. Um, and I'm going to give you a recommendation on at least a fertilizer, a couple of them that I found on Amazon that you might want to take a look at that I have looked at and I kind of like, particularly for um, both warm season and cool season grasses coming in and buying. And I'm, I may, I'm going to say something about buying stuff at Walmart or Lowe's. Whenever you grab a fertilizer bag off a shelf at Home Depot, hardware, or in hardware store, Lowe's, whatever, what have you, particularly Walmart. Not fault in Walmart, it's just they also sell you grapes and stuff too. So, <laughs> you know, hard uh, lawn care is not their forte, right? Get the fertilizer bag, and I want, you to, I want you to touch the bag, and I want you to run your hands along it. You need to, and, and even maybe shake it and, and see make sure it is not clumped. There's no clumps in it. If you have clumps of fertilizer in that fertilizer bag, consider it ruined. You may get it home and you might be able to bust up those little clumps and you might be successful doing it, like, but possibility you're not. And granted, you could take it back, but who wants that hassle? This is why I kind of like buying fertilizers off. Believe it or not, Amazon does a good job because generally they are coming from dist dist distributors and those distributors generally do not have things coming off the shelf. Lowe's, I admit, I've not got a bad fertilizer bag of fertilizer from Lowe's either. Um, or, and I imagine Home Depot is probably the same thing because they turn things around pretty quick. Um, and they generally focus a little more on their quality. Um, now, I will say the green, I think it's Green Max from Lowe's. Actually, they have some really good fertilizer products. And if you guys want to check out this video, it's me at Lowe's <laughs> going through what they have to sell and some of the products that they have. So, you know, you have options and I'm just giving you the things. But anyway, back to a bag. Uh, run your hands along it. Feel free to clumps in it. Make sure it's, it can move around real good before you buy it. If not, you're going to go through the hassle of taking it home and you're going to have a clump of fertilizer. Now, why is nitrogen applications in the fall so critical and is the most important fertilizer application you can do on cool season grasses? Reason being is, it is a high nitrogen fertilizer, like a 22311 or a, or a 22012 or whatever. Usually a high nitrogen application, 30011. On a fertilizer bag, first number is nitrogen, middle number is phosphorus, and the end number is potassium. What those do for the grass, always think of nitrogen as greening up and or growth. Um, phosphorus, the middle one, is basically for seedling bigger. Okay, and that one's, it's a major nutrient, but not as critical as nitrogen and potassium. Potassium is for rooting and winter and summer hardness. So okay. I'm going to give you a few recommendations here that I found on Amazon. Um, now, the one I found is a Fertilone product. It has a fairly low amount of, of slow-release nitrogen in it, which is kind of nice. It's actually the cheapest one I found as far as its cost per, nit or cost per pound per nitrogen. Not that it's the cheapest is best, but this one has a pretty low amount of slow release fertilizer in it, which is kind of like what you want this time of year. Um, you want to put it out there, you know, it's going to feed for about two weeks and that plant's really going to start slowing down, shutting down. Another one I like is this Green View Fairway. It's a uh, 30 0 12 fertilizer. The reason why I like it, it's got a little bit more slow release nitrogen than the Fertilone product I showed you. Those of you guys in the north that maybe you're a little, maybe you see this video now and you want to get out, the Fertilone product is probably a good way to go. Those of you in the transition zone, um, probably I'll get show you the zones here. I, this is kind of a getting to be a standard because I'm trying to give everybody an idea where I'm talking about here. I'm in zone six, okay, uh, based in West Virginia in that green area there. Um, if I were to go out on cool season grasses right now, probably zone six and zone five, I would probably go out with the uh, green view product. And the reason being is you can go ahead and seed. 
this will give you six weeks, but only about five, well, about a fifth of this is slow release fertilizer. 6% of the 30 <laughs> is slow release. The rest of it is quick release fertilizer. So you're going to get that big green pop, and then it is going to feed just a little bit more going into closer into Thanksgiving, and that's fine. That, there's, no, there's no problem with that. So I would use the Fertilone product for you guys in the north that need something to hit hard before it really goes into dormancy or, or at least cools down in the summer, or pardon me, winter. <laughs> and for those of you who are in the transition zone and even further south than me, I'd probably look, on, at least if you're looking for something on Amazon, I'd go with this uh, Greenview Fairway product. So another one I like if you're looking for something local, meaning from Lowe's, is this Stay Green product. I will say the, the there's a Performance Max and this Stay Green. Lowe's actually has some pretty good fertilizers too. I'm giving you guys the option. Um, this one, the only thing about this one, this one has, it's about half of slow release nitrogen. So I'm more inclined to put this out in the spring than the fall because you are going to get six weeks of feed out of this. So you guys in my area, in zone six lower, this may be a, a, a good option for you if you just want to run out and grab something rather than get it on Amazon. Pretty good option here. So, spreader charts. Um, I found a really good spreader chart. I'm going to leave a link below. This is basically the spreader chart. Screenshot of it. The thing I like about this one is it covers majority of fertilizers and it's based on the SGN. What is SGN? That is the size of the particle. So you will see on there, I'm going off the top of my head, but you can probably see it right here. Hopefully I remember it correctly. <laughs> 90 to 110 SGN is very small particle sizes. That is generally going to be your, um, usually a granular herbicide or sometimes an insecticide. It's very, very small. Then you're going to have 150 SGN. That's going to be your middle-sized particle. That is going to be some fertilizers, but not a whole lot. Majority of the fertilizers, and oftentimes the SGN, is written on the bag. 240 SGN is probably what you're going to be putting out in particle size in most fertilizers. That is going to be the larger particle size. So what you could do, you could take the SGN off the bag and then look and find the fertilizer spreader that you have and how many pounds of that product that you need and then set it to that setting. I like this chart for that way because it doesn't necessarily give you this product is, you know, and it gives you that setting. This will cover majority of your products. And I'll leave a link to this down below so you can blow it up and really look at it. But I really like this one. You've seen it in my other video you might want to check out is my soil sampling video. Show you where to get it, get it done fairly cheaply, unbiased, how to fill out the paperwork, where to send it to, and how to interpret the results. I also have a also a video on slow release fertilizers. If, if you want to get deeper into how the types of slow release fertilizers, take a look at this one and be a good one to look at maybe over the winter and kind of educate yourself on what actually you're buying when you're buying fertilizers. And that's kind of an, that's really important for everybody and how fertilizers can actually be released temperature dependent. Um, and that's critical for most cool and warm season grasses. So you can... Okay, for those of you who want, maybe you want to do a, a, a foliar application, a lot of these are stabilized urea. I'm not going to get too deep into that. It's in my um, slow release fertilizer video. I'm trying to keep this video within reasonable length here. And I can get really geeked out on stuff. So <laughs> anyway, um, this 2800 from Simple Solutions, they actually make, at least they're available on Amazon, some of the stuff I've seen at Lowe's and particularly Walmart, you can buy, and I'll, I'll go over a little bit of buying fertilizer at Walmart and maybe Lowe's here in a minute. Uh, some of the liquid stuff I'm not all that crazy about. I like the Simple Solutions product. There's another one called Sundays, but it seems like to me it's awfully expensive. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it seems to be a little pricey for me. A lot of these are methylene. They're just a stabilizer urea is what they are. So is there a difference between one and the other? I, I don't know. But studies have shown, and I'm old school, been doing this for over 30 years. Most of my fertilizer applications are granular. However, studies are now showing that if you blend a foliar application with a granular application, you actually get better turf quality. Um, 
prior to winter dormancy, you within six weeks you do not want to put any nitrogen down on your on a on a on a warm season grass that's going dormant. You do based on the soil test, and this is why I gave you the soil test video. But if if you don't have it, it's going to get late. Shouldn't be that late for you guys. But if you need some potassium, you want your potassium optimized going into winter because potassium is going to help you with, with any problems that you may have with spring dead spot and cold tolerance. So that's why you want your potassium up as high as you can. There are not a whole lot of products out there. Uh, there is a Lawn Synergy on Amazon. It's a 7 zero, I'm wanting to say 20 or 30 on uh, and that's not a bad product it's, but the thing is it's got that little bit of nitrogen in it. that's why i like this 0028 with um from uh, simple, simple lawn solutions um because it's it's pure potassium and you're not having to worry about that little kick you may get that you don't want in the fall okay so let's look at how to shop for price on a fertile on your iron fertilizer okay you're going to be looking at the nutrient you want to put out in this case it's going to be nitrogen that's what we want to put out. And normally, most cases, it's going to be the nitrogen you're going to drive uh, what you're putting out. Okay? So what you're going to do, you're going to take the analysis. Let's take that uh, Fertilone product that I you know, talked about earlier. It's a 2506, meaning it's 25% nitrogen, 0% phosphorus, and 6% potassium. Right? You're going to take that 25, since we're talking about nitrogen. You're going to convert that in a decimal form, meaning point. Two five. You're going to take 0.25, and it comes in a 40-pound bag. You're going to multiply 0.25 times 40. Then you're going to take the cost of that bag of fertilizer, okay, divide it by the total uh, of that 0.25 times 40, okay, price divided by that pounds. That is going to give you how much nitrogen your cost per pound per nitrogen, okay? Show you a quick chart here. These are all the fertilizers I looked at, and the furlone was the cheapest, and you can see what it is cost per nitrogen, cost per pound per ni of nitrogen. Two of them on there you might want to look at, or I'll show you, two. A lot of people use millorganite. Millorganite is a great product, but it is because it's a 640, its cost of nitrogen is extremely high because the, the amount of, of nitrogen in it is extremely low. I mean, you've got an Anderson Pest Safe there. Um, that is a product. Um, Anderson, I, I have not used that product, nor have I seen it, but I'm pretty sure looking at it, and I've researched all of these for this video, what that product is, and the reason why they say it's pet safe is when you put it out, then you water it, it basically disappears. And if, if you're looking for something, a pet safe product, and that's something you're very conscious of, yes, you're going to be paying a premium for that, but you are going to get, I guess, the reassurance that it's going to be pet safe. I will say a granular, for a granular fertilizer to not be pet safe is a fairly tall order. Um, I don't think you're going to have a problem. But here we go to mowing again. If you want the peace of mind and that there's nothing wrong with that, so, but you are paying a premium for that. Um, if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. And if there's a product that you've used that worked well, put it in the comments. Or you got any questions, put it in the comments. Or anything at all, put it in the comments. Or something you want to see in the future, put it in the comments. Um, encourage comments on my videos. So, anyway, if you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell, I try to keep things pretty timely. Uh, just like right now, we're in mid-October, time to go out with your fall fertilization, either on warm or cool season grasses, and we've learned, at least I've helped give you my guidance, my two cents on what to be doing on both cool and warm season grasses fertilizing in the fall, and giving you some guidance on how to make sure you're getting a good product, a good quality product, and at a good price. So anyway, check out my soil, um, soil uh, <laughs> testing video, my slow-release fertilizer video. And if you want to, that one from Lowe's. Uh, I'll leave all three here at the end. In fact, I'll, uh, I'll leave all three here at the end so you can click right on those and you can go see those. So anyway, I've got over, this is I think 56th video on my channel. So there's a whole lot here for everybody. 
um, both warm and cool season grass folks. I've got a seeding video that did very really well on overseeding. Over 57,000 people watched it. So been at this for about a year, a um, little over a year, and doing pretty well. We're almost 5,300 5, subscribers so far. So I hope this helps, and that's what I want to do. Um, I'm agronomist Greg Phillips. Thanks.